Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you're either a big fan of the Joe Rockstar channel, or you're pretty irritated and upset about your strip bolt, and you're just looking for a quick solution. Now I have to tell you that that kind of impatience is probably how you got yourself in this mess. There's a larger lesson to learn from experiences like these, and maybe you should take some deep breaths and hear me out. But if you insist, just skip ahead and come back to this after you strip another bolt. If you care about your bike and you want to keep the engine parts from prematurely wearing, you have to keep up with the preventive maintenance. Cleaning and changing the air filter and oil regularly can go a long way to help keeping your bike in good running order. Now if you're like me and you don't have a lot of vehicle maintenance experience, even these simple tasks can seem daunting. But after completing several modifications and routine maintenance cycles with the help of YouTube videos like this one and a lot of patience, I started to get pretty comfortable with doing my own maintenance maybe too comfortable. It is amazing how quickly something as simple and routine as draining the oil can quickly become a nightmare. Impatience and forcefulness are not good traits to have when you're working on your ride. And sure enough, one fine evening last year, while I was trying to drain the oil, I had both in abundance. I failed to seat my socket wrench properly on the drain bolt, which I probably over tightened the last time I changed the oil because of impatience and laziness. As I yanked and I jerked on the wrench, I felt it give way, and not in the satisfying way it feels when a tight bolt breaks loose, but more in the gut-wrenching way it feels like when you know you just stripped a bolt. It's similar to the feeling you get when a fart turns out to be more than what you expected. I was too forceful and impatient and it cost me. To make matters worse, I learned nothing from that initial experience and tried to reseat the wrench and again, impatiently and forcefully, I went to town wreaking havoc on the bolt head until every last corner of it was rounded off. After a long tirade of foul language, fits of punching at the air, followed by deep sadness and regret, I regrouped, sure that YouTube would have a solid solution. Well, it sure did. If you do a search of how to remove a strip bolt, you're going to be overwhelmed with how many solutions there are out there, and none of which works for me. Although I tried many of them, WD-40, vice grips, pliers, heating it, cutting into it with a chisel, none of that worked. Others suggested drilling the bolt out, but I didn't want to try anything that involved drilling it out. It was too risky to drill a bolt that's threaded into the engine case, I mean what if I damage the case? So to help you avoid the frustrating overload of information that either doesn't fit your situation or is just plain unhelpful, I've created this brief explanation of how I removed the strip bolt from my KTM 500 EXC. First off, you're gonna to need to calm down and find your center and be patient and careful. The first thing to do is head to your favorite bike parts website and order a replacement oil plug. You don't wanna get the stripped one out just to not have a replacement on hand or at least ordered. And this tool here is called the Gator Grip. That thing's garbage. Yeah. So there is all the tools you're gonna need, all right? All right you definitely need the hammer, you're gonna need the torch, okay? X-Trax bolt extractor set, about $29 at uh, AutoZone. And uh, these have these designs in them. Now, this that bolt is a 14 millimeter. It's 14 millimeter. If you put it on there, it just turns freely, it doesn't fit right. So what we do is we take the next size down that we could find. The closest thing in that kit was a 12 millimeter. Place it on the bolt like so, as much as, as square as you can get it. Take the hammer and start hammering it down until it's all the way in. All right. Now I had to hammer it quite a few more times but it's really soft metal, that bolt, and so that should just cut right into it. Then we take the torch. You're gonna heat the area around the threads. Not too much, you're not trying to light your bike on fire, just get it warm. Take your socket, and then give it a good turn. And there it goes, right off. 
Now it's stuck inside the, uh, it's gonna be stuck inside here. You're gonna have to do some work to get it out of there, but who cares? You got it out. And now this part, replacement piece, uh, you can get from KTM or from any uh, dealer that sells KTM parts. And then you can just replace it, just like that. No drilling, no uh, expensive mechanics, and no stress, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped some of you out, and at the very least entertained you. And if it did help you out, or you found it entertaining, maybe you could help me out and head over to my Patreon page and pledge whatever you can to help get me through the next race season, as well as keep these videos coming. Joe Rockstar videos are always going to be free, but I rely on the support of viewers like you to help keep this going. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.